Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be creating a project using my March kit from the Wild Hair Kits. I special requested some of the Sunny Days collection from Maggie Holmes and Crate Paper, and mentioned that I was going to be documenting some photos from my stepsister's wedding. So that happened this last weekend, and I had tons and tons of photos from the weekend that weren't wedding photos. They were pictures mostly of my family from back east, and um, a lot of them, you know, weren't like good lighting or super good photos, but definitely wanted to document some of the funny moments from the weekend. And so I thought I would put together a mini album. So yes, these are printed super, super tiny, probably smaller than I should have. I should have printed them a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Um, I've seen some mini albums online using just one sheet of 12 by 12 paper that you score and cut and fold to create an accordion style mini book. So that's what I'm going to do. I did pull a piece of pattern paper from my stash that has kind of a pale grid pattern. This is going to be the base for my album. I did have some really pretty um, papers from the Sunny Days collection, but a lot of them I have cut into and these were in my March kit. And so I needed a full 12 by 12. So I'm going to use those pieces to kind of dress it up. I have some of the die cut pieces, some of the, just the different elements that I got in my kit, so maybe some stenciling. Um, and then I also went and on my own bought some more of the Sunny Days collection. So I will be using that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and show you how I score and cut this and start assembling it and putting it together. Okay, so I'm going to begin by scoring my 12 by 12 piece of paper. I'm going to score it at 3 inches, 6 inches, and 9 inches. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see the score lines on here, but it's at 3 inches, 6 inches, and 9 inches. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate my paper one turn here in a second. Just make sure my score lines are deep. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and score at 4 inches and 8 eight inches. So you'll do um, scoring it basically in fourths and then turning it and scoring it into thirds. And you'll be able to see this once I start cutting into it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, along this, I guess this way where I've only got three columns if that makes sense and cutting up not all the way to the end i'm stopping just shy of the last scored rectangle so it's going to create this kind of z shape here it really is not that difficult i promise <laughs> it'll make more sense as we fold it so now i can start folding and i'm going to go accordion style so i'm going to fold it and then flip it fold it flip it um, i'm going to try to link down below the blog that i saw um, for this template. It really is simple. It's kind of complicated to read or to watch, but once you start um, scoring and cutting and folding on your own, you, it, it kind of just comes together on its own. So you just fold where there's least resistance. Um, so here, instead of folding towards where all the bulk is, I'm folding away from it, if that makes sense. I just, just give it a go, I promise. It's not that difficult. <laughs> and so basically what I have here is a little booklet. You do have to do a little bit of assembly at this point. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, find the center and flip it open so that I can work on the binding of the book here. So the grid pattern is going to be my front and back cover and then the dot grid will be on the inside. So I have this washi here. I ended up swap, swapping it out for this floral washi. These are from my stash. They are from Crate Paper. I'm not quite sure which collection. Probably a Maggie Holmes collection, honestly. Uh, so they were colors that worked with the uh, Sunny Days collection from Maggie Holmes that I was going to be working with. And I found it was easier to have the book closed and then put the tape on there to make sure that the binding would still move and work. I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the excess. And then the way that this folds, it leaves some openings at the top where if you sewed one or two edges, you could have little pockets. Again, this is one of those things where you just kind of have to fold it and do it yourself and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So I took it over to my sewing machine and I stitched any of those open edges and created, you can see it down at the bottom. So now I have a pocket here. I did the side 
So now I have a pocket. It just depends on you know where the fold lines are. I also added some stitching in the center just to reinforce the binding so that you know it all sticks together. And then I'll go ahead and add some more washi over the top of that just to secure my stitching. I promise this is a really, really easy album to create. Um, it's just kind of hard to show, you know, in detail how to do it. It's one of those things you just kind of have to do for yourself and then you, then you get comfortable with it. So off camera, I went ahead and took some of the six by eight pattern papers from my stash and cut them down. Um, these are cut to two and three course two and three quarters inches by three and three quarter inches. So just slightly smaller than the three by four pages that I have in this book. And then I've pulled out a bunch of these die cuts. These are from the Sunny Days collection that I got in my March kit this month. And then I've printed tons of photos. They're all about two by three size. Some are even smaller than that. They are teeny, teeny, tiny, but um, it allows me to have a photo and a little bit of embellishment is what I wanted here. So these stickers are from my stash. Um, I pull out some chipboard stickers in a minute. Those are from my stash. So I'm just kind of working with a combination of my wild hair kit and then some things that I have um, laying around here. So I can begin sticking things down. And honestly, I'm going to try not to overthink the layout. I'm going to speed this up quite a bit. Um, because I'm using primarily one collection, the Sunny Days collection, but my wild hair kit also, you know, coordinated colors from other lines as well. So I know the colors are going to match and they're going to work with this line. So I'm not going to overthink the matching process. I'm just going to go through and just grab things, not worry really about the colors of them, um, and just stick them down. This particular collection has a lot of like vacation and travel theme. Um, now I didn't travel, but my Ohio family traveled to see us and it was kind of like a vacation for them. So a lot of those pieces did work for this album. So, um, that photo back there was actually a photo of my uncle David. It was so funny. My, my, we went to target all of us. My dad actually bet him money to try on the shamrock suit. <laughs> so he did. And then my dad bet him even more money to wear it to my sister stepsister's wedding um, but he didn't do it he figured my stepmom would probably have a cow if he showed up to the wedding in a shamrock suit so that didn't happen but we got that hilarious photo and then here we just took a minute to take some family photos since we were all together my husband and I and the boys and all dressed nice this is right as we are leaving the Airbnb to head to my stepsister's wedding so we stopped and took a few photos um, I really, really love how these came out. And this mini album is great for something like this where I had a whole bunch of photos that are all kind of mishmash. You know, some of these are nice, like these ones. Some of them are like bad lighting or funny poses or people are cut off and just weirdness. But I wanted to document it because there were stories that went along with those photos. So I can go ahead with a mini album like this and document all of them and just have a fun place to have that whole weekend together. So these puffy stickers are from an Amy Tangerine line. These were in my March kit. So even though it's a different collection, the colors are very similar to the Sunny Days collection. So I could stick some of those in there. I was pretty careful about how many dimensional items I used um, on these pages because I wanted the book to close. So I only used like a couple puffy stickers, a little chipboard piece, and then really just stuck to that die cut or ephemera pack from the Sunny Days collection. And then these six, I mixed some of the six by eight papers and then some of the 12 by 12 papers that I got in my kit. Um, the six by eight papers had some foiling detail, so that just added a little bit more interest um, to these pages. And I didn't try to match colors to the colors in the photos either. I really just tried to not over complicated. This book probably took an hour and 45 minutes to put together. Um, and it would have taken even longer if I was really worrying about colors. You can see here, I'm trying to kind of leave a lot of this in where I'm trying out different die cut pieces and flipping stuff around. I'm trying to keep the photos in chronological order um, throughout the album. So I'm trying to work with that as well. So here you can see I have this blue and gold foiled paper, this green and pink die cut, like total random colors, but I'm going to go for it and commit to it because those are colors in the collection. They are all kind of mixed together. And so I'm just I'm going to wing it. And our clothes had some blues and things like that. So it 
it worked, I think. I think it'll be fine. So there was a photo of my sister and her husband and myself and my husband. And then we had a photo of the boys at the wedding and then this group shot selfie in the church waiting for the wedding to start. So it was actually a really blurry photo, not perfect. Definitely not something I'd want to blow up to like, you know, four by six size or something like that. But it was just fun. We just, we, we call it the Hudson clan. That's my maiden name. So it's my Hudson family from Ohio. And we just joke and laugh and play and just have way too much fun. Um, and so there were just lots of little moments like that that I wanted to capture. I will probably document like the pretty photos of my stepsister and all that in another project. Um, I didn't want to kind of mix all of it together. You can see I added another one of those puffy stickers. And then for these two pages, I'm trying to kind of pre-plan where my pattern papers are going to go with the different photos that I have to try to kind of space out the colors a little bit. Um, so these two photos are um, actually not in chronological, chronological order. I kind of messed up, but um, this was Sunday morning. We all went out to breakfast at Black Bear Diner. And so we got some group photos of like a bunch. Of, we didn't have all the cousins together, but we had a big chunk of the cousins together. So we got a photo of us together and then we got a photo of all the Hudson clan that was there, which was amazing. It was so fun to sit back and see all the family resemblance. So I have only gotten to see my Hudson family, oh my gosh, like maybe three or four times in the last like 20 years. <laughs> and so um, I was really lucky. I got to see a bunch of them back in August when my other stepsister got married. Um, and then a few years ago when my sister got married. And But really we don't get to see each other that often. So it was funny just to like tell family stories and see, you know, family resemblances and just get to hang out and spend time together. We just, we had a blast. It was so, so much fun. So I'm mixing in some of those cardstock stickers from the Sunny Days collection. I did purchase those to go along with my wild hair kit this month. Uh, here there is a photo of the siblings. So it's my dad, his two brothers, and his sister. So that was really awesome to get that photo. Um, that doesn't happen very often. And everybody's all, you know, dressed up nice at this point. We're at the wedding. Um, so I'm just going to use a few stickers and embellishments. I, I didn't use a whole lot because there's so many colors and so many textures and things going on. I tried to not over embellish each little page and they're tiny. These are three by four pages, three inches by four inches. So trying to keep it pretty, pretty minimal. And I didn't want to fuss and take too long. So I'm trying to just work with what I have. So I'm not wanting to like type out things or you know, get up and go through my stash. So I'm trying to use, you know, phrase stickers and things like that, that I have um, right here in front of me. And then this is a photo of my sister and I, and then our stepsisters, my sister Jillian there, you can see is the one that got married. It was so, so pretty. And so we just got a really quick informal photo of the four of us at the wedding. And I pulled out that hello sweetness is from those An Amy Tangerine um, puffy stickers. And then I remembered these Heidi Swap photo corners. These I had gotten in a wild hair kit many months ago. And so I pulled them out and there were some of these gold ones. Um, and they don't exactly match the gold finish that's on the puffy sticker, but that's okay. It kind of matches the yellows that are in this line. And it just adds, you know, a little something to the photo without having to add, you know, a whole bunch of stickers or something to that page there. You can see how quickly this fills up and gets bulky. So you just want to be careful, you know, how much you add to it. But I was able to document, I believe, 12, 12 photos, 13 photos in this album. So that was awesome. Um, this photo on the left-hand side is like all of us at the wedding venue or at the reception. And so there's this like weird colored red wall behind us. We're, it's just with really bad lighting. Again, one of those photos that I wouldn't want to blow up to four by four, you know, four by six size, um, but I did want to document. So uh, I'm going to only use a few embellishments. I remembered that I had a few of these embossed gold die cut pieces from the Sunny Days collection left from my kit. So I pulled those out and just kind of added those to the page and, um, kind of tucked that photo under there and used that butterfly and kind of left it at that. Um, I'm trying to go through and look at some of my other things. I did pull out that word sticker from a Heidi Swap um, sticker collection that was from a past kit that I got. 
I just store all my wild hair kit supplies in this um, container from Ikea and that way I can just pull things out and mix and match and um, kind of add things from past kits if I need to. And then this other photo here on the right hand side, we, it was hilarious. After the wedding, there was a bunch of us back at the Airbnbs and my sister and I had bought a bunch of bubble masks from Target. And so we all, including the men, got together and did bubble masks and it was hilarious because they were like bright green. We all looked like the Grinch. I don't know. We were just busting up laughing. The lighting was horrible. The photo is grainy, but I definitely want to document the moment because it was hilarious. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a few of these cardstock stickers um, and that die cut tag to embellish it and really keep it at that. So now I can go ahead and work on the front cover. So I pull out this really pretty tag from the die cut pieces. I'm going to attach that just to add a little pop of color to the front. And in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done that because I pulled out these um, thickers that I got in my kit. They're gold glitter. They are so pretty. Um, and I spelled out the uh, title Hudson Clan. And you can see it's really getting lost over the top of that um, die cut. So I will go back in and actually um, outline these with a pen just to kind of add almost like a shadow to the letters to help them stand out. It's not the end of the world. I can read it in person. I know what it says, so it's okay. I did mix some uppercase and lowercase because I had run out of T's and S's in lowercases, um, but that's okay. It kind of goes with the wonkiness of my Hudson family. <laughs> So here you can see a quick flip through. I love, love, love how this came out. It's so adorable. Um, and so here off camera, I went ahead and used a nesting tag die set to cut some of these tags out of those pattern papers. And then I pulled out this Heidi Swap stamp set from, I think it was from last month's wild hair kit that I received. Um, and these are gonna be my journaling spots. So remember, we have those little pocket areas that were created. So I'm gonna ink up these stamps with some Gina K ink. I think this is blue denim. Match that pop of blue in that collection. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit of embellishment, but really just focus on having journaling spots tucked in. So I love that you can flip through and just look at the photos, but if you wanna see you know, what I'm documenting, you can pull those tags out and read the journaling. So you're not trying to squish the journaling and photos onto that little tiny three by four area. There is a side pocket in this album, but I didn't, I didn't end up using that. And then for this one, I'm just gonna use that little love arrow um, just to add a little bit of embellishment to the top. And I didn't type out the journaling. I just wrote it out. I'm using my ruler to give myself some journaling lines so that I'm not crooked. Um, this black and white washi was from, I believe, last month's wild hair kit that I got. So um, pulled that out and it kind of went with the other florals that I have in this album here. And I'm just journaling some, you know, different stories and um, things like that from the weekend. For this one here, I use the quote of the day. And so there was this moment actually in the wedding where the pastor says, you know, something along the lines of, you know, what did you bring as a symbol of your commitment to each other? Um, and you're supposed to answer, you know, rings. Well, my husband, and mind you, we're close family. So we're sitting like at the very front of the church. And my husband kind of under his breath whispers, slap bracelets and I think it's one of those things where you have to be there to understand how funny it is but he and I and my sister were laughing so uncontrollable we were so embarrassed because it's like super quiet in the church everybody can see us and we are just as soon as we would stop laughing we would think about it again and then start laughing again and it was just oh it was too much so I definitely wanted to document that moment and my husband's sense of humor no they did not have slap bracelets they had rings <laughs> so we tuck that into that little pocket there and then for this last one I'm just gonna document just some bullet point highlights so just some other things that we did throughout the weekend that you know, were fun moments that I want to remember, but didn't need a whole story told. So like we went to the grocery store and bought a bunch of food and did a huge barbecue out by the pool. Um, my dad had rented some apartments as Airbnbs for us. And so we all just got to hang out by the pool, had breakfast together, just lots of fun moments throughout the weekend. So 
There is a look at the album. I absolutely love how it came out. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I used. Be sure to head on over to the Wild Hair Kits. You can request your own custom hand curated scrapbooking kit for your next project like this. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.